Okay guys, so we're going to start off by welding up these two little holes here. And before that happens, i got to find my striker, which is over here. And anyway, yeah, this is oxyacetylene welding. It uses two gases, you know, oxygen and acetylene. And the first one we're going to turn on is this acetylene here. And once it lights, we're going to adjust it with this uh, oxygen screw. So, here we go. Just like that. And that's a nice, long, dirty flame. I mean, just look at that smoke. So we're going to add some oxygen. And there's something in this tip. Okay, that's good. Now, acetylene by itself is only kind of flammable. And oxygen isn't flammable whatsoever. But oxygen is an oxidizer. And when, you know, when you put it with something that's kind of flammable, you have something that's really flammable. And that's something you can see, like, um, you know, if you're cutting something out in the field and the grass underneath it's on fire, which you shouldn't do, but let's face it, most of us have. You know, when you press the uh, lever for the cutting oxygen, then the flames underneath whatever swell right up. You know what? This flame is kind of cold. So let's see, I'm going to try to get a bigger flame. There, just like that. That's even hotter. And uh, yeah, it's a really easy type of welding to do. It's the easiest to learn. Uh, it's pretty cool too. It's only about 6800 degrees, whereas the electric arc that thing that causes the bright light, well that's about 11,000 degrees. And yeah, we're basically, we're just heating up the steel until it melts, and when that happens, we just dip our filler rod in there, like this, and it adds material. And then once it cools and hardens and uh, solidifies, then it's just one piece of metal. I'm going to go over this once more just to kind of tie in the ends a little better. And that's that. So let's do this hole here. I hope I'm not catching my table on fire. That would be bad. I'll try to not stick the flame right down through that hole. And nothing gives you control over the puddle, like oxyacetylene welding. None of the other processes do. You now you can manipulate it anywhere you want. You can push it around. You can do anything. Okay, cool. And sort of neat. You can light your torch off of red hot metal. That's nice for if you're cutting something and for whatever reason your torch goes out. But yeah, there you go. Okay guys, so I just watched part of that last video. And you can see most of what's going on, but you can't see everything. So what I've done is I've attached my extra pair of goggles to the camera lens. So hopefully you guys get to see what, you know, someone who's wearing the goggles gets to see. And judging by this little screen here, looks pretty good. So hopefully you'll be able to see, uh, you know, more than just a bright light. Yep, you can see, oh wow, that's, that's working really well. Okay, when you adjust this, see that inner cone there, that feathery thing going back and forth? That's bad. So turn your oxygen until that goes away, just like that. You know what, that flame's a little cold, so let's add some more acetylene and adjust it with some oxygen. Okay, so now that you can see, and I can see, let's weld up a few more holes here. This is, it's time consuming, but it's really enjoyable. And that's one of the things that led to this type of welding being outmoded for the most part. Uh, it's actually the first type of welding there is. It was invented turn of the century, early 1900s. 
and uh, it's considered a World War One technology. A lot of the first tanks and planes that are welded together, this is how they did the welding. So yeah. Something else in my tip. Crap. There we go. I gotta clean that out. So anyway. Yeah, we're gonna get this uh, base metal nice and hot to the point that it melts. You'll see it glow. And, uh, and then it starts to get wet. Then it gets wetter and then it forms a puddle. And that's, uh, that's the most basic form of welding there. And this tip is dirty and I'm running sort of a cold flame. But notice how I'm definitely not burning through here. And uh, I'm enjoying this though. That's good. Sometimes if you just tap your tip on something, then uh, whatever's in it comes out. Alright, now I'm just going to go over this once more. And sort of even things out. Get everything heated up into one nice molten blob. And I can literally watch this metal warp. You know, that's one of the downsides to cutting thin stuff with a torch. It warps the hell out of it. Alright, that looks pretty good. Awesome.